Short program underway and form has held thus far. Maria Butirskaya first on the ice has first place. Lu Chen of China might have been judged a little low by some of the judges. Surya Bonali of France is currently third. I'm Vern Lundquist along with Scott Hamilton. Welcome back to the Ladies Short. <laughs> you know, it seems, Scotty, we've come all the way to Japan for a battle of Americans. There's a consensus that Michelle Kwan is the overwhelming favorite for the gold and Tara Lipinski for the silver. Do you feel the same way? Well, Tara Lipinski is the reigning world champion. They are obviously the two best skaters in the world. Momentum really favors Michelle Kwan. She's had a great season. The huge win at the U.S. National Championships. Yeah, I guess you could say that, you know, favors her a little bit. But watching the practices, watching Tara Lipinski, she skates with a lot more speed in the short program. Her combination's a little bit tougher. And the triple flip as the required triple jump, tougher than Michelle's triple toe loop. It's going to be wide open for the gold and the silver, I think, a lot closer than people think. The battle for the bronze, however, is interesting. It's kind of all over the place. When a skater's getting ready for their short program, they got jump combinations, everything going through their mind. Well, this is what's going through the judge's mind right now, flying names all over the place. This many people are in it for a bronze medal. Anything can happen. You've got world medalists, former world champions on this list, and it's wide open. But it comes down to this, eight required elements, mandatory deductions, anything and everything can happen. And this panel of nine judges will have the task of making the assessments. Normally you'd think that the front row in any, in any competition is the best seat in the house. I wouldn't want to be sitting there tonight, that's for sure. And on the ice in her warm-up right now, the world champion, 15-year-old Tara Lipinski. She looks like she's getting her feet under her. A little nerves at first, a little tight, but she's skating with a little bit more ease combination that she'll be doing is triple lutz into double loop again she has to control the landing right here and she didn't on that pass it was the flip that cost her at the u.s nationals in philadelphia again the toe just looked like it slipped out a little bit and didn't give her the height and the normal straight air position that she normally has it's all tempo tempo it's rhythm it's timing anytime you get into a tempo situation you're going to be in trouble Another combination, triple lutz in the double loop. Triple lutz, double loop, beautiful. And while Tara warms up, let's go to Tracy Wilson, who is with Lou Chen. Lulu, the triple lutz combination gave you so much trouble all week in practice. What did you do to land it so well in, in the program? Well, um, because before I come here at home, I did, you know, really good. And when I come here, have a little trouble. <laughs> but uh, when I go on ice, I just think, okay, I can do it. It's time to show out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Okay. Take me through it. Tell me about it. Well, I feel really good, really confident. I know I can land. <laughs> it's a beautiful one. Yeah. I understand you had a, a special good luck charm yeah. uh, with you for this performance. Tell me about that. Well, I had the little pig and not 95 worlds, and then I win, and it's uh, my friend. <laughs> she, uh, he gave it to me, and then keep um, in my packet, and then when I go, you know, do my program, I, I put in the my jacket, and then I tell my coach, okay. Don't leave me hold this jacket. <laughs> and uh, Oksana has this little pig uh, when she's doing uh, Olympics. In Lillehammer, yes. when she won. Yes. Well, it's obviously bringing you all kinds of good luck yeah. and uh, hope you have it with you in the long program. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Tara Lipinski, born and raised in the Philadelphia area. She lived in Washington Township, New Jersey. The family moved to Sugarland, Texas when she was nine. She now lives and trains in Detroit where she's coached by Richard Callahan, also Todd Eldridge's coach. She won a world championship in Lausanne, Switzerland last March at the age of 14. Youngest world champion ever. She was 32 days younger than Sonia Henning. And now she skates the short program in her first Olympics to the movie music of Anastasia.
sequence earlier. The American women really take this very seriously. The position, the extension, flexibility. Triple Lutz into double loop. The Lutz double loop beautifully landed. triple flip that she missed at the U.S. National Championships. Connecting steps here. Right into triple flip. A little cautious on the landing, but what a huge hurdle. All the risk is behind her now. She has a double axle. She shouldn't have any trouble with that. She knows she's done it. Look at the joy on her face. She looks so tiny. She skates with such maturity. She has the heart of a champion, and she's really had a great time enjoying her first Olympic experience. Final combination spin. Look at the speed, the position. Perfect short program. Pinsky. Her teammate Todd Eldridge, fourth in the men's program. Her parents, Jack and Pat Lipinski, are here, but they're hiding. We haven't been able to find them. Tara Lipinski, who came and has enjoyed her <laughs> Olympic Games. She stayed in the village. I chatted with Todd Elgin at her practice yesterday. Said about two days ago, she began to realize that this was an Olympic event. You didn't just do it. You did it awesome. Hi, Daddy. Hi, wow. Mom. Wow. Hi, Jamie, Lindsay, Victoria. This, this, oh, I love everybody. This, I love the speed. Aaron. She reaches back with the right leg, vaults, tight air position, good coverage of ice. You can see right there, controls that edge beautifully, beautiful double loop. Richard Callahan looks on, going, please, 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 please. Yes. Todd Eldridge, he did it the other night in his short program. You get past the combination and everything gets just a little bit easier. Oh my God, that was so cool. <laughs> yes. The marks for Tara Lipinski. And the marks now. The first set of marks for Tara Lipinski. Leaving a little room there with the five sixes, but the five eights, difficult combination. That double loop is so hard to pull off if you miss the landing at all in the triple lutz. And the marks for presentation. People think this might be a weakness of hers, but she does skate with incredible maturity. Later tonight, Michelle Kwan and Nicole Bobek. Thank you. 